Okay guys, here is the clutch. Uh, they've all pipped and come out of the egg all by themselves. This is the Before we get into this clutch guys, uh, let's redo the Malaysian uh, 1000 subscriber giveaway. The snake has remained unclaimed, so I have the revised list of names here. I hope you can see that. Here's the random number generator. And the winner this time is number two, which is Mohamed Bukhari. There you go mate. If you uh, contact me on the comments below, that snake is waiting for you at ARP Constrictors, a female pastel yearling ball python. As usual guys, we'll take a look at the parents. This is mum, uh, just two months after laying eggs. You can see she's still uh, in very good condition. Uh, this is just a fire het lavender. And uh, this guy here is dad. This is a Firefly Het Lavender, so Pastel Fire Het for Lavender. So Visual Lavender's Het to Het is a 1 in 4 chance. And there is fire in both parents, so we can get a Super Fire or White Snake. A 1 in 4 chance of that. And combining the odds gives us 1 in 4 times 1 in 4 or a 1 in 16 chance of getting a Lavender Superfire, which is the Cherry Bomb, an all-white snake with pink eyes. This is day 64. The first pepper was on day 62, and the rest on day 63. And as soon as they pipped, they all came out of the egg straight away, which is the major difference between letting them pip themselves and cutting your eggs. If you cut your eggs on day 55 the snakes sit around in the eggs for five days before they come out anyway. So they're all healthy, they're all looking good. There's one still with his head stuck in the egg here. Notice that was the rollout egg. Um, we'll uh, free that guy up and get him out of the egg in a moment. But let's just take a look and see what we got. Uh, obviously we got two lavenders. here they are. So two visual lavenders. We got one white snake, a superfire. Uh, white with black eyes, so this is not the cherry bomb, this is the superfire. Two copies of fire. Don't know whether it's pastel or not, it's plain white. Let's wait for the shed. Uh, but you can see the eyes are black. This is a black-eyed leucistic. Super fire. And we got a pastel. Straight pastel. 66% het for lavender albino. We got a firefly. 66% het for lavender albino. And of course we got a normal. 66% het. And this guy here, we'll just help him out a bit. Get my blunt nail clipping scissors. Gently go in the opening and cut away from the snake. And this guy will be ready to come out. There he is. And that looks like another normal, so we've got two normal, 66% het for lavender. There we go. And we'll just sit him back in there and let him come out all by itself. So let's just get another look at these guys in their shedding tub. So two visual lavenders, a firefly, a super fire and two normals from this clutch of seven eggs. Now that's not bad odds at all. Let me just check these guys for sex. Oh, 
looks like a female. That also looks like a female. That one's a male. And this little guy, I did take him out of the egg. He was ready to come. There's no yolk left. And you can just see the white dot on the umbilicus here. Uh, showing that um, he's totally absorbed the yolk so we'll just stick him in down there with the clutch mates and then they're all out awesome okay guys this little chap here is a visual fire lavender borrowed from ARP and I'm filming this for the second time because when I tried to film this yesterday I got bitten uh, this guy is a little pistol And you can see how fire brightens up the lavender. Uh, doesn't really work too well with lavender. Lavender needs something to darken it rather than brighten it. But what I'm going to do with this guy, why I borrowed this guy, is to uh, pair him to the fire het for lavender female. Uh, that gave the clutch that you've just seen. And by using a visual fire lavender, I will increase the probabilities of uh, getting a cherry bomb so I've borrowed this male and he is a handful uh, which means he's going to be a good breeder he is still in quarantine but let's just zoom in on his pattern here let's see if I can show you his head I'm using the hook here so he doesn't bite me let me just see if I can hold him for you there we go there's the head, you can see the pink eyes. And he has calmed down a little bit now. Uh, but this is another example of a breeder loan from ARP. It's a very specific snake for a specific purpose. Uh, this snake is not being used in the lavender program at ARP uh, because he has a blackhead lavender and wants to get blackhead into the lavender project this is a fire lavender which we'll use to try to make the cherry bomb so this is a breed alone for this year this is a fire lavender male to go to the fire het lavender female so that's the cherry bomb clutch guys we didn't get the cherry bomb and uh, i did get bitten by the uh, male that i borrowed from arp uh, it's a long time since I've taken a bite, so uh, we got that on film. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time.